Welcome back to the channel, everyone. As you may see behind me, instead of my usual studio monitors, I have them replaced with two Mackie Thump Go's. And this is five ways that I use the Mackie Thump Go that may help you get the most out of your Mackie Thump Go experience. And honestly, the last reason is the dumbest thing in the world. But first, let's jam. back to the channel guys i'm so excited now what you heard a second ago was me just live looping in between two mackie thump goes so let me give you a quick rundown of the rig and explain how you could do this and all the applications of the mackie thump go actually has so let's go back over to the main camera here and check it out so on this whole side i have the acoustic guitar running into let me see if i can get this camera over here to do it the acoustic guitar running into the line six helix that is right here at my feet now, at the same time, I am actually only taking up one channel because I'm also running the drum pad into the Helix as well. So as far as this side goes, you are hearing the drums and the acoustic guitar live looped all on the same channel. And now as far as the right side goes, all I had was a Line 6 HX stomp on that side with my guitar tones all set up. I not only plugged in my guitar for my lead tone on that side, but I also have Check one, two, check one, two. I have the microphone rigged up at the same time on that side, which as you can hear is absolutely crystal clear. That is coming out of the one over here. And honestly, in the room I'm in right now, I don't need that microphone, but it really is filling up the sound. So I probably could have done all of this with just one, but what is better than one than two? The first thing that I wanna talk about that maybe seems a bit obvious is the fact that you can play with this thing anywhere. That's the point of the Mackie Thump Go. Even though I am using these both plugged in to the wall for power, they do have rechargeable lithium ion batteries that allows you to play literally anywhere. So I could have taken my acoustic guitar, I could take a battery powered looper, and I could take the Mackie Thump Go anywhere and just be, you know, busking, playing on the, you know, the streets of New York, playing in the subways of New York or something, having a great time. And that brings me to number two, that if you want to level up, check this out. If you look over here on this camera here, camera two, the Mackie Thump Goes are actually surprisingly great if you're going to be in an on-the-go DJ scenario. Epic. I thought when I was when I was testing out this product, I knew that I'm not always the singer songwriter type. So I wanted something that was way more for my application. And in this case, I really think that this is a supremely underrated product for a live DJ or or even just an electronic drum scenario. Like my stick tricks. It's pretty cool, right? Didn't know I could do that. Now scenario number three is 
my probably best use for this, and that is when we break out the electric guitar on it. I wanted to be able to shred a little bit on this. Ah, let's do it again. Totally ripped the guitar out of tune there. But there are four settings on the back of this that are easily accessible. And you just have to click which one it is. So in this case, you have a music mode, you have a monitor mode, you have a speech mode, and you have a sub mode. I said them out of order, but you get the idea. In this case, I have it rigged up to music mode for this application for the, you know, for having the, the modeler plugged into it. I could also use this live on stage as a monitor to kick back. So here's the scenario. Say I'm at a big show that is a, you know, a, a decent sized room and I just wanted a personal monitor mix from my guitar. Separate from the main monitor, in this case what I could do is I can have this Mackie Thump Go ran off to the side and give me a little bit of stage volume for my modeler if I'm running into the front of house. This is a very, very common scenario for people who are getting into modelers. In this case where it would really shine would be in monitor mode. Super convenient and awesome use. Let me break out my phone really quick and give you an example of what scenario number four may be. Now, as you see over here, I have the Thump Connect 2 app pulled up. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to go over to my Bluetooth. I can control all of the parameters in this, like my own little mixing board. And it's rigged up by Bluetooth, so you don't have to give up your Wi-Fi in a gigging scenario, so you could still look up uh, like lyrics and stuff like that, or chord charts maybe. I'm linked to that one currently, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you could just be your own personal sound guy now. And let me show you something here. So as you see here, what happens is, let me go over to my acoustic guitar, and if I'm, I do some strumming, and I just turn this fader down right here, and it's, and it's off. Now I turn it back up slowly. Gives me a lot of control on the fly. And if I click down at the bottom right here, this nice little advanced button, what we're gonna do is we're going to link to speakers. And now you'll have a PA that has four inputs. Really a game changer, especially with the fact that you can also run it all on battery. Now I'll admit that my setup is not exactly, you know, out on the road, go play in the subway of New York friendly. It's all plugged into the wall. But in a scenario where you are plugging in all of these toys into one power generator, every plug matters. So having these run on battery is such a huge help because out in the wild, plugs are valuable. Along with the fact that it has so many other features on here, such as a feedback eliminator, that the reason that I'm able to have this hang out over here, no problem, and just bring it in and out, and being able to live loop with a microphone that's on all the time in this case. And not only that, you can run your EQ right here, but you can also save speaker snapshots. So what that means is you can have all of your settings saved, and the next time you show up to whatever gig, you just click a button and it's all the same. It's a wonderful time to be alive. Guys, it is at this point that I will ask you to make sure that you hit the like button below so that this video can go out to more people. The last scenario where the Mackie Thump Go has come in crazy handy was when I was at my son's first birthday party the other day. It sounds ridiculous, but we were running around like crazy and we had no chance of being able to get my PA system or anything over to the house in time for the party. And in comes the Mackie Thump Go when you have a room full of people. Since it's so easy to pair up, all you do just click the button, you go into whatever app you're gonna use to play music, and uh, just like that, the party's rocking. This product really has so much more to offer than what it seems, so I really recommend checking one out. They sound absolutely phenomenal. They're small, they're compact, and they're battery powered. I mean, you can't go wrong. At, and at this price point, they're just unbelievable. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was more informative than some of the other videos I've seen out there. Thank you guys so much. I am Jimmy Franklin and I will catch you next time.